Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Virgo from the 4th to the 10th of March uh, 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading that resonates with you, then please go to my website and book a reading. I've put my details in the description box. I've also put the decks I'm using in the description box. And please don't forget to watch your yearly spreads and the deck reviews that I have done. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, it looks like you may have been involved in studying or learning. You've got the wisdom card over here. So this has, uh, you know, you've been focusing a lot on uh, maybe learning new skills. Uh, maybe you've taken a new course. Uh, you're going through a period of, uh, you know, reasonable tranquility, reasonable peace. Uh, you know, just um, a lot of peace of mind has come in for you. And there's abundance that has also come in for you or is, will be coming in for you. You've got the world in your hands. So maybe communicating with the world as well. Uh, so it might be, you know, you, you could be traveling as well, um, but, uh, you know, or having a lot of communication with people, um, maybe over the internet, uh, but really speaking to uh, people on an international front. So in the front, in the past, you've got the ending card. So there was some kind of relationship that ended and it caused a lot of frustration and anxiety and depression maybe uh, after that ending. Going to the future, you've got the lover's card, so there's some kind of decision that you need to make, and there will definitely be victory in whatever you're doing, so a celebration coming up for you there. So all this learning and meeting people and communication brings about victory in the end, so, you know, quite a successful end after going through a difficult situation. So this is the Cook's Tarot, and I'm just using this um, for the general read. Okay, so you've got the page of swords over here. So some kind of contract, some kind of legal decision, some kind of legal news coming in for you over here. So uh, you can see it's very, very, uh, it might even come over the internet here because you've got the computer here. Um, but it is definitely some kind of decision uh, also that needs to be made or will be made. Uh, maybe uh, a, a new contract that a new you will be signing, uh, but some news coming in of, of an official nature coming in. Um, so... Um, it looks like it's going to stir up a lot of issues here because you can see there's uh, rain coming in through the window and a lot of leaves flashing around. So whatever this news is, official news that comes in, uh, it's going to bring a lot of change. Um, you know, it's going to stir up the energy, if you like. You can even see things in the pot being stirred up over here. So uh, it's going to bring in a, a, a lot of, uh, it's going to have an impact, quite an impact, whatever this news is. It looks like it could be of a legal nature or it could be of an official nature. Now you've got the Ace of Pentacles over here and the Ten of Wands. So uh, Ace of Pentacles is a new financial situation coming in. So maybe new money coming in. Um, it could be a new job coming in. Something where that opens your door. You can see this door, this path is open. This door is open. So it, it takes away any kind of um, obstacles. There are no obstacles in your way. This new thing comes in. It's almost like a gift that comes in, you know. Um, bringing in this new money so if this is like uh you know this could well be a uh, you know maybe an inheritance something coming in in that kind of uh way or it could be a new job where you have to new sign new contracts so this could be news about you um uh, you know signing a new contract or um, signing something official as well and the ten of wands uh, the thing about this new job is that it's going to mean that you're going to have to work pretty hard as well though uh, so you know you're going to have to sort out a lot of issues there um so it might bring in the work, this new job might uh, come in, but it might mean that you're going to have to work pretty hard. 
uh, to get it done and there's going to be a lot of deadlines that you're going to have to work to so it's 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 a, a means of getting your foot in the door really so it's a, a brand new beginning a start of something and it's something that opens your pathway up maybe right now you are working in a job that is you know a lot of uh, responsibilities and this new uh, offer that comes in is going to open the door for you to you know to have a better uh, a better working environment less responsibilities less burdens now the page of cups is talking about studying uh, so that's what you've probably been doing in the last year uh, you know getting new information getting uh, new knowledge maybe you've been in university but you've been learning a lot in the last year the queen of cups uh, you know, this could be you uh, still, you know, uh, thinking about the past, thinking about, um, you know, your plans, maybe feeling a little down, uh, maybe things were not moving and maybe you've been, uh, you know, uh, reminiscing about the past as well. This could also be dealing with water sign person. So this could be Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces that you were dealing with. Maybe they were feeling a little bit down. Uh, it's like a, a mother-like figure. So this could be somebody maternal that you were dealing with who wasn't really, you know, feeling it. Maybe you've been getting some support from this person, but they seem to be thinking a lot about the past. Maybe reminiscing a lot about the past. So you could have been dealing with that kind of person. Um, on your mind, you've got the Three of Swords over here. There was heartbreak. So you did go through some kind of trauma, um, you know, and some kind of, um, something happened that caused a lot of distress and a lot of upset. Um, you know, it, it looks like, you know, a relationship that was lost uh, and you've been trying to deal with that. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Cups. You're entering a new cycle as well, something that's more emotionally stable, uh, something that, you know, you have reached a different level of understanding and a different level of acceptance as well. So you are beginning to look around you and seeing the, um, you know, appreciating the things around you and appreciating the people around you a lot more now. And you've gone through a lot of spiritual growth. Um, you know, you've got these uh, water lilies here. So uh, a lot of spiritual growth coming in as well. So going uh, into the future, you've got the um, Six of Cups over here. Uh, maybe you have been reminiscing a lot about the past. Maybe you have met up with old uh, friends, family, spending a lot more time with family, you know, recording things that happened in the past. So this could well be you or a mother figure. Maybe you're spending a lot more time with your family and discussing a lot of things that happened to you in the past. Um, you know, getting over something, getting over a difficult, a heartbreak situation by discussing or airing how you feel with your family. So you've got the lover's card over here, and this is about making a choice, a decision about what to do next. So you are at a crossroads in your life, and you are trying to make a decision. And you are being guided as well. So you want to start something brand new. So you're making this choice about starting this brand new thing, starting a new, brand new cycle, starting a brand new section. So it looks like an old uh, cycle has come to an end, and you want to start something new. So the final outcome would be your judgment, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Now, the, the judgment card is about being given the second chance, a second chance to have your cake and eat it. And whatever you start doing now uh, will be successful. So if it wasn't successful, maybe you started off in the past and it wasn't successful, and now you're being given a second chance to do it, and this ensures success. So you are at a crossroads in your life. These are two major arcanas, the lovers and the judgment card. You are being called on to go back and do something, complete something that you haven't done, something that you haven't finished. So, uh, and if you do that, it will be very, very successful. So that particular choice needs to be made. You need to make that decision. Then you've got the Queen of Wands over here. Uh, you're getting into a position of authority. Uh, you will be called on to act, uh, you know, be in charge of something, and you need to show that no matter what happens, you can still handle it. So the Queen of Wands is taking charge of a situation and, uh, you know, um, having the grit to do it no matter what uh, goes on around you. So you will be getting some kind of leadership position. So it looks like there's a new job coming in over here with this Ace of Pentacles, and it's definitely going to be a very, very much a leadership position where you are very much in the spotlight as well and having to trust your own st instincts to get things done. And the four, four of Pentacles is, you know, trying to still preserve things from the past. It's still clinging on to, you know, things, uh, you know, um, trying to cling on to past memories or past um, um, 
decisions that you made or maybe uh, um, opinions that you had clinging on too tightly so much that you're locking it away it's also you know you are in a point at a point where you are financially stable so worrying about money may not you know you really shouldn't really be doing that because you are getting this position of authority over here and this uh, you know you are you're still very very worried about money you're trying to preserve as much as possible trying you know worried about theft you've got a magpie over here stealing things so you are worried about people taking your money uh, and you're trying to preserve it as far as possible trying not to spend it all so you are living you know um really um uh, trying not to spend much money at all, very frugally at the moment. Um, you know, that might not be necessary uh, because it looks like, you know, you will be uh, financially abundant. That looks like you're going to have your cake and eat it. So finance is going to be settling down, but you are still a bit anxious about money as well. Now, the Four of Pentacles shows uh, stability. The Fours are about stability and foundations. So whatever job you're doing, you have got a good foundation in it. Uh, and, you know, you're not about to lose it. So you are very, very worried. You can see this everything is chained up in this closet so you are protecting your job you're protecting your assets as well and you're pretty worried about it uh but you know that might be causing up uh, causing a bit of anxiety and that might mean that you need to let go of that anxiety and not worry so much about it because abundance will come to you, you just have to relax and let go and this new job that is coming is giving you that cake so you will have that cake and you will eat that cake so it looks like you know uh you make the decision and it's going to be something that is going to be very beneficial for you. So this is the animal tarot. And uh, I'm just going to draw some cards for the um, oracle read. So the world card. This is a card of achievement. And it says, congratulations on successfully accomplish accomplishing what you set out to do. You have made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons of life offered uh, to you with grace and courage. So you have achieved, you have reached, uh, uh, you know, you have completed what you needed to complete and you are going to start something brand new um, and you have been very successful. Uh, and this is also talking about, you know, financial uh, achievement as well. So whatever, wherever you are at this particular moment is where you need to be. And it's also you know, showing that you have achieved, you finished all the life, le you know, you finished the life lessons that you need to finish so far. And so uh, a new cycle will begin. And then uh, you've got the Queen of Summer over here that says it's time. It's a time of deep, deep emotions and heightened intuitions that you can trust completely. Be mindful that you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. So the Queen of Summer is really like the Queen of Cups. And, you know, this might be dealing, as I said, with a maternal figure, uh, somebody who, who um, uh, you know, who is very caring. But it's also showing that you are a very caring person. This is a new cycle. You've got the moon here. So maybe you're more in tune and in touch with your emotions now after having gone through a very difficult period. Then you've got the star card, which is the card of hope, and says you're about to take a big, big leap forward in your life. Worry will be replaced by optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. So this is a card of a card of being optimistic and having faith that it's all going to work out. And it will work out because the star is a major arcana and everything that you are wishing for is going to be coming into your hand uh, with the star card. And it's being divinely guided as well. So try not to be negative, be positive and move forward in a positive direction. So, you know, don't worry, you know, that money worries about money and stability and and uh, security. Uh, you need to stop worrying. You're very worried about security here with this card. Uh, you need to stop worrying, let it go and, you know, let go and let God, as they say. And, you know, it looks like things will work out for you. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.